Punishing open hands, lefts, rights to the face of Gurgeau. Face smashing, bone crushing violence. The ultimate in one on one human combat. Kick to the head, and we might have a knockout. And we do. They smash each other in the ring and out of it. Falling out of the ring are both fighters. Seems to find a way to go. High right, and Huas puts a high kick to the head. Now, promoters have taken the sport underground and overseas. This fight in Brazil. Almost anything goes in these contests. Pedro Rizzo just got the best of Southern Californian Red Herd. Herd's a respected and sought-after fight mentor here in L.A. He teaches youngsters traditional jiu-jitsu, but says his unconventional style of fighting in the ring is safer than it looks. Ours, if I can knock you down and choke you, it's over. Right? You're not in pain, I'm not in pain. Heard made this smashing comeback in Japan, putting his philosophy into action, punching and choking Fred Floyd into exhaustion and finally submission. These battles can last up to 30 minutes. That's all in one round with no timeouts. Oh, oh a beautiful head headbutt in the, mouth. in the face of Gurgeau. May have lost a tooth even on that one. This so-called sport is like a return to medieval times. Contestants can kick, punch, slam, and headbutt each other at will. Some fights standing up, boxing style. Others battle bottoms down, jujitsu style. The conflicting techniques lead to wild and unpredictable brawls. If he's going to punch me in the head, I want to punch him in the head ten times harder than what he punched me. Anything goes in these matches with the exception of biting, eye gouging, or grabbing a person by the inside of his mouth and dragging him around the ring, a practice known as fish hooking. This type of competition has been glamorized by Hollywood in films like The Quest, featuring Jean-Claude Van Damme. And in video games, where young kids jerk joysticks and make-believe jousts based on ultimate fighting. For all. Barnes can't take much more. But in the ring, the bloodletting is real, expected, even cheered. And the best of the best, Marco Ruaz, a Brazilian, considered the best pure fighter anywhere in the world. I think he has to be complete. The fighter today has to be complete. He can't just know the ground or just know the ground. He has to know a little bit of each other. And to know how to use this doesn't matter everything. Marco and Oleg fought in a grueling half-hour match earlier this year. And there goes Sokhtarov. The hometown Brazilians cheering wildly as Ruaz declawed the Russian bear. All of these brawlers would prefer to fight in America. I'm here to fight. I'm here to win. If they're not going to let me fight in the States, I'll find somewhere else to fight. I would love for the opportunity to have a fight in Los Angeles. Their promoter sees no reason why these matches can't be held here. That all these fighters that participate in this kind of show, first of all, they're 21 or older. They, are, they have been martial artists for 10, 15, 20, 30 years, some guys. I mean, they, they get into these fights because they feel they have the ability to do so. Why can't a 21-year-old man that's good enough to go to a war and kill for whatever reason? He cannot choose his sport. He points to the brutality of other so-called acceptable sports especially boxing, 
La Pinda says far too many have died in these rings, others left with serious disabilities, like Jerry Quarry and Muhammad Ali. You know, nobody's going to get killed. No one's hurting each other. We all know each other. These everything-goes brawlers claim there is less potential for such injury in their ring. And while it's unlikely these events will ever return to prominence in America, doctors warn the potential is dangerously and obviously very real. I sat on my butt and he punted me like a field goal right in the face. And a kick by Rizzo. The Russian bear remembered a recent fight in which he and his opponent fought for 20 minutes with broken fists. But even that ordeal might pale compared to the pounding one American delivered when he battled three separate fighters the same night in Brazil. The story behind the fight of fights tomorrow night. Bob Donnelly, Fox 11 News. Block and kick to the head, and we might have a knockout, and we do. No holds barred. Fighting is a blazing combination of wrestling, boxing, martial arts, and just basic brawling. These athletes combine strength, guts, and raw stamina. More left. strong lefts and rights. Totally oh, Sudomaki taps out. Their fights can run up to 30 minutes. That's one round, no breaks. But criticism of the brutality and potential for injury has driven most of these events out of the United States, and American fighters are now heading for matches in Brazil and Japan. Twenty-eight-year-old wrestling champion Mark Kerr is a Syracuse graduate who trains in Phoenix. He's been a wrestler all his life, but now he's convinced big-time bare-knuckle battles are his ticket to fame. It gave me a chance actually to legitimize uh, wrestling. And, and the format was just, this is the format to do it in. So he goes to Sao Paulo, Brazil, for a chance to make a name for himself and collect a $20,000 paycheck at the Valley Tudo Championship. All he has to do is defeat three separate fighters and one ferocious night. With only minutes to rest, Kerr is then sent up against a brawler calling himself the Master Hulk. Afraid of a mauling, the Hulk slithers out of the ring. And all of that was just the tune-up for the championship bout, the battle for glory. Arizona's Mark Kerr going against one of the best from Brazil. Well, the motto that I took into the fight was ground him, take him down to the ground, and pound him. Ground him and pound him was the motto. It is a vicious and prolonged hammering. Both fighters last the full 30 non-stop minutes. Kerr later reflects on this fight and his sport. Oh, oh a beautiful. 
Headbutt. Headbutt. When it's over, the judges hold up their verdicts. And it's a decision, and Mark it should have been. For Mark Kerr, victory brings an oversized check for a modest payday, a championship belt, and the promise of another fight, another day. Well, I would love for people in the States to really understand this. I would love for the opportunity to have a fight in Los Angeles. But overwhelmingly, doctors and state governments are against these no-holds-barred fights. The competitors are convinced the public wants to see them right here, right now, at home. But the chance of this happening seems about as good as keeping the rock'em, suck'em action inside the ring. Bob Donnelly, Fox 11 News.